I'm Mike from St. Thomas Economic Development, here with another little update from the St. Thomas Megasite. A lot goes into preparing a site like ours for industrial development. Staff from the city's engineering and industrial development departments have been busy working for months on the heritage, archaeological, environmental, and geotechnical studies required to pave the way for the work we see on the site today. Before any existing buildings could be cleared from the site, heritage assessments had to be conducted to identify any important heritage elements that needed to be preserved. These assessments have been completed for all structures that have been removed to date. Archaeological studies were also required prior to commencing development of the site and have been completed everywhere that work has started. These studies involve disturbing the soil through tillage and waiting for rain to expose items such as pieces of pottery or arrowheads that can be indications of significant archaeological sites. Nothing of significance has been found so far, but we'll keep you up to date and may try to meet up with an archaeological team in the field to get a better look at the work they do. Environmental studies for this project were carried out to identify any contamination present on the site. The lands assembled into the site were agricultural and residential, not industrial, so no problematic contamination has been found. Ecological studies were also conducted to understand and mitigate the impacts to wildlife as a result of the project, and we will be talking about measures taken to mitigate the impact to wildlife in a future update. Lastly, geotechnical studies were conducted to understand the soil composition and bearing capacity across the site generally, as well as under specific locations that will require especially high bearing capacity. These studies are conducted by drilling into the soil and collecting cores of material that are used to analyze the stability and capacity of each point, often drilling either to a predetermined depth or until heavy clay or bedrock are reached. For heavy industrial developments, this is a major concern, and so far, results from geotechnical studies have all been positive. That's all for today. Thanks for watching this update and stay tuned for more soon.